the untrained mathematician. The five-year-old boy did not like school. He ran home most of the days. While boys of his age played on the streets, Ramanujan worked on mathematics for hours together. To help with their cash-stabbed existence, his family took in boarders, two of whom were in a government college. Noticing Ramanujan's gift, these two young men shared whatever they knew with him. His obsession with mathematics would prove to be a problem as he slowly lost interest in other subjects. Ramanujan then moved to his grandmother's house in Madras and secured admission in Pachai Appa's college. His maths teachers were very impressed as he could work out problems, skipping most of the steps, much to the bewilderment and confusion of his classmates. In the year 1911, Ramanujan's first paper was published in the Journal of the Indian Mathematical Society. The next year, he applied for a job with the Madras Port Trust. Here, he met S. Narayana Ayer, a member of the Mathematical Society, who was there to advise him. Then, Ramanujan wrote G. H. Hardy, a mathematician at Cambridge. He requested him to review his papers and he wished to publish his theorems if he found anything of value. In Cambridge, Godfrey Harold Hardy decided to consult his fellow mathematician John Edenser Littlewood. As they pored over the papers together, they realized that they were looking at the workings of a brilliant mind. Hardy then wrote to Ramanujan, expressing his interest in his letter and the theorems. In April 1914, Hardy arranged for Ramanujan to join Cambridge. In the following years, Hardy and Ramanujan collaborated on many projects and published joint papers.